Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm testing a build that I just finished for a good friend of mine. He had reached out a few weeks ago asking if I would do just a basic build, relatively cheap and easy to fly. Since those were the requirements, I went around looking online and I found this build on Amazon. It is a clone of the ZMR250 and for $113, with Amazon Prime, you can have this build at your door within two days. It is an ARF. That means you do not get a receiver, your transmitter, or a battery. But for $113, it's got a lot of good components, pretty sturdy frame, and here in a minute we'll take a look at all those. It also flies with CC3D, and you can see that I have it pretty tame right now just for my buddy so that he can get used to flying and get into the hobby. And in the video, I want to cover some of the gotchas that I ran into when doing this build. Here is everything unboxed and laid out from this kit. So you can see there are a good amount of components. And now, unfortunately, there isn't a build manual, but I'm going to try to wing it based on some of the product photos off of Amazon. Here you can see the finished build that I was just flying. Now, there's actually quite a few leftovers here, which is great. Now, these are two sets of props. For this, they're five inch. I'm actually flying with the provided six inch carbon fiber props. They just look mean and provide a lot of thrust. So you get a set of those as well as those props and there are two extra sets of LED lights. Your blue and your red, which I have blue on the back and red on the front. Now let me talk about my first gotcha. This is the QAV250 from GetFPV and this PDB is on the bottom and there's enough space in between here in the bottom plate to solder your ESC. So that works out nicely. But in the case of this ZMR clone, there's not enough space between these two bottom plates. Now maybe I could have put the PDB in between and then put ESCs underneath. But what I opted to do instead was use some of this 3M double-sided tape that's rated for 10 pounds. So that's not going anywhere and I stuck the PDB on the bottom of the frame and soldered ESCs, LEDs, and everything else. So it's more exposed, more accessible. We'll see how that turns out in the long run. The other thing to look out for when doing this build is make sure you have your motors in the correct locations. Now you'll notice that this motor one and motor three as defined by CC3D they are actually clockwise rotating motors and that means these nuts actually are reverse threaded. So it unscrews when I go clockwise and it screws down when I go counterclockwise. You're going to want to make sure that you have those motors mounted properly. The other major, major thing to consider with this build and probably the most painful for me was the fact that you do not get bullet connectors with your ESCs or your motors in this build. Now you could solder directly to your ESC and I was tempted to do that, but thankfully I had extra sets of male and female bullet connectors. And let me share just one last tip. Now you're going to configure your CC3D and load firmware with OpenPilot GCS and I didn't realize this until I looked further down in one of the scroll lists that this frame and setup is actually supported as a configuration in OpenPilot GCS. It's like the ZMR250 Chinese clone. So look for that because once I loaded that configuration, my PIDs were pretty close. I had to do a little bit of gain tuning, but other than that, it was very easy to get up and running. Just really liking this build so far especially for the cost i'll put a link to the amazon page below i recommend you guys check it out if you're looking to do any sort of 250 build i hope this video was useful if you guys have any questions or comments please post them below and until next time thanks for watching